This device was launched in 2017 and in that year was one of the best devices you could buy with a full screen display. Now it's 5 years old and this is the Samsung Galaxy S8. So should you buy this here? My answer to this is yes and no. Just relax and sit tight, I'll explain throughout the video. The S8 comes with a 1440p Super AMOLED HDR10 5.8 inch screen. Up to date, this display still looks good and it doesn't even feel outdated with great viewing angles and colors which is to be expected from an AMOLED screen. Since refresh rate doesn't matter to most of you, you should be fine using the 60Hz on this display. You only get to notice the 60Hz if you are using a device or if you have used the device with a higher refresh rate. So now I want you to take a close look at this S8 screen. You can see it has screen bends, right? Now I highly recommend you check for screen bends on the display before you continue to make your purchase because it will help you one way or the other. Screen bends is normally caused when you have an image open for an extended period of time and you can prevent this from happening to your display by setting your screen brightness low and also same for timeout settings as well. You can also use wallpapers with black background which would be of good help. Under direct sunlight, you shouldn't be having any problems using this display. You get to see everything clear. The only time you get an issue is when you have this kind of screen protector on your display. As you can see, my screen protector has some dust in it. So this will make viewing on the screen a bit difficult under the direct sunlight. Just don't be like me. So overall, the display on this device is pretty good. Good for consuming YouTube videos, watch movie on this display and yeah, you will really love it. Plus, there are some additional features you get on this display such as AOD. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you know the full meaning of AOD. Okay, so now to the most important part you guys have been waiting for, the performance. Sorry, before that, let's talk about the design. The Galaxy S8 is still a nice looking compact device to date if you ask me. Still looks good with the glossy back design. Looks good, right? You know something, just to make sure you are on the safe side always, remember to put on a case. It is best to put on a case so you don't have to spend money on back glass replacement. However, I really like the S8 design, looks very nice. This is how it even looks like in daylight view. Now this S8 comes with a Snapdragon 835 chipset and 4 gigs of RAM. While the performance is still good and not good at the same time, doing tasks like texting, browsing through social media apps, making calls, taking pictures and videos, there shouldn't be any problem, I guess. This is not a bad phone for light usage, if you ask me. Though you can play heavy demanding games on this guy, but it's still not a good choice because of its battery life, which I'll talk about next and also the software. Now this is running on Android 8 and because the phone is 3 years old, Samsung doesn't support it anymore with software updates, which means can be bad for some games and apps to even run well because it's not well optimized. I'm very sure most of the apps on the Play Store are also well optimized to work well with older OS, so you should be good. But if you want to enjoy any new Android feature you see in latest Android OS like Android 13, Android 12, the only way to do this is to install a stable custom ROM. And you can actually search for videos to guide you on how to install custom ROMs on your Samsung Galaxy S8. Does the battery even last? Now the Samsung Galaxy S8 comes with a 3000 mAh battery which was a decent battery for this device back then. But I know most of you guys are going to buy this device, are definitely going to get it used. And if the battery hasn't been replaced, that's another problem. Well, although you can get the battery replaced, doesn't mean you are going to get a good battery life after. I'm not saying it's going to be bad. Like, don't expect the device to last maybe 11 hours. If you are not a heavy user, you can be getting somewhere around 5 to 4 hours of screen on time, which is good. Heavy usage on the device can kill the battery very quickly. And I will advise you to always make sure you don't overheat the device, which is said to be very bad for batteries. Okay, let's talk about the cameras. So on the back of this device is a single 12 megapixel wide angle camera with OIS, which was kind of a big deal at that time. The camera still delivers good images, not bad at all, and even in most cases, I think they even look better than some of these new devices launched this year. When you compare them side by side, these are some sample images to check out for yourself. Generally, this device takes better photos and videos. Sometimes the photos get slightly exposed, but you know, I really like the photos this camera produces. So in terms of recording video, you can record videos up to 4K on this device at 
30 frames per second and you can also scale it down if you want to save storage to 1080p at 30 or 60 frames and 720p at 240 frames i think that's for slow motion with hdr and stereo sound recording there are a lot of features packed in the samsung galaxy s8 the s8 gives you three simple ways to unlock your device one is using the pattern password or pin method and two is using the fingerprint reader found at the back of the device made easy for the index finger to be used in my opinion well unlocking speed is quite fast and not too slow so you can just do this to unlock your device last one is samsung dex which gives you a desktop experience when you connect your s8 to a monitor i guess you can pick the samsung galaxy s8 slightly new used for 120 dollars which is 1800 cds if you're in ghana or used one for 90 dollars so far from my usage the s8 has a good camera which will serve you better nice design and a bright display you could only get disappointed in the performance and battery life side especially if you're a heavy user I can boldly say this is a good device if you are just going to be performing light stacks and can even serve as a backup phone for you. I know you found this video helpful. Kindly share with your friends, leave a like, comment. Thanks for watching and stay safe.